This next problem is question chapter 6, number 15, 6-15, and it deals with visual ranges. And a range, as you know, is the alignment of two objects. So if I have two objects in line, and I can sight them, then I don't know that I'm on a line that can be projected between those two objects. And um, if we have two such ranges, and we cross the projected lines, we can then have a fix uh, using no compass or anything. Just go back to the chart and draw those ranges in. And this question is an illustration of that. So let's look at uh, this. This is Chapter 6 homework. And uh, the instructions say, answer the following questions using the training chart, 1210TR, which is what we're on now. The deviation table in Chapter 5 and Appendix C. Uh, for this particular question, we won't need all of those, but let's read the question. On, on September 23, 2002, you're sailing in Buzzards Bay south of New Bedford, and you notice the following two visual range alignments. A, the southeast edge of Nishawan Point on Smith's Neck aligns with the southeast edge of Gooseberry Neck. Now let's look at these. Over here, we have Michuan Point right here on Smith's Neck and right here we have Gooseberry Neck and that's the southeast edge of that. So what we're going to do is draw a line between those two points and that's going to be one of our one of our projected alignments. I line up my straight edge here's Smith's Point and I have a southern edge of it, and here is Gooseberry Neck, and I have the southern edge of it, and I'm going to draw in a line between those two points. So, since I can see those two points and they line up, I know that I am somewhere on this line. The next range that I see, it says B, the east edge of Penakees Island aligns with the west edge of Nashawina Island. Well, these are over here. And here is Penakees Island, and here's Nashawina Island. So I can take these, line up my parallel rule, line up my straight edge with those two edges of those islands, and draw a line there. Where these two cross, that's my fix. That's my position fix where I'm located. And see what we have. We're at that location, and at that moment we can see those two edges of these two islands lining up with one another. And here we can see these two edges of these two points lining up with one another, and we're located at this point. That's our fix. Now, the question is, what's the latitude longitude of that position? And in order to get that, here's the fix, that little circle where, the, where they cross. I'm going to take my, my dividers, put the point on that fix, and I'm going to adjust the thumb screw until, see here's a, here's a latitude line drawn across the chart. So I'm going to adjust the thumb screw until my pencil point just touches that line. I'm looking at this latitude scale, and I have 41 degrees. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes. Take my dividers, put it on the 30, and put a little mark there. And read this, it's 41 degrees, 31.3 minutes. And I um, have that here, 41 degrees, 31.3. Then I um, do the same thing on longitude. I take the point, put it on the fix, turn my thumb screw until I get to this vertical line here. could be any vertical line that's close by, but I'm using this one here. Take my dividers. I'm on this line here. And to read this now, I have 70 degrees, 40 minutes, 
45, 50, 55, and then here's 56, so this is 70 degrees, 56 point roughly 3 minutes west. And that's our answer on longitude. So that's our, that's our position by that method. All we did was take two ranges and line them up. We didn't even have to use a compass uh, for direction, just use visual ranges.